Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. I summon Shenron at American Comics. Chapter 1. A long time ago, there was an ancient legend that there were seven balls called Dragon Balls scattered all over the world. As long as the seven Dragon Balls are collected and the mantra is recited, the dragon can be summoned, and any wish can be fulfilled for the wisher. Buzz. 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 In the Linton District of New York, USA, also known as Hell's Kitchen, in a remote small basement on the outer border. Looking at the seven orange beads placed on the ground in front of him that were shining rhythmically like breathing, Ling Yu felt very complicated. Holding a big brass, it can't really be Dragon Ball. But Ling Yu thought about it again, I've already traveled to Marvel, it doesn't seem so strange to have Dragon Ball. What a fart. Where are Dragon Ball and Marvel related? After complaining a few words in his heart angrily, Ling Yu turned his attention to the system panel in his mind. Host. Ling Yu. Combat power. 6. System space. Seeing these short messages and the pitiful 6 in the column of combat power, Ling Yu immediately became angry. System. What is happening? Recalling that I was lying on the bed last night and reading novels, who knew that after waking up, I somehow appeared in this dilapidated, small room that exuded a certain smell and musty smell. And there is a Dragon Ball system in my mind saying that I have traveled to the Marvel world. How does Ling Yu, who was originally a professional nerd, accept this? I saw the system slowly put out a question mark, and then said, Host, are you still a Chinese? Isn't it just time travel? As for all the fuss. Shame. Ling Yu's mind was filled with question marks when he heard the words, and the system stopped joking and became serious. Obviously, the host can find scattered dragon balls through this system, so as to realize any wish. Since the host has just traveled through, this system presents a chance to make a wish. Ling Yu also gradually understood after hearing the words, who didn't know the anime Dragon Ball in the previous life. Now, the real dragon balls are gathered in front of him for free, who can give it to anyone who can't be excited. In this case, let me try it first. Such a good thing that can be prostituted for nothing, it would be too bad if you don't do it. Definitely, readers, don't go whoring in vain, reward some flowers and tickets, doge. Call out, come out. Shenlong, that's it. The system also reminded at the right time. Ahem, come out, Shenlong. As Ling Yu's voice fell, the rhythm of the seven dragon balls placed on the ground flickered faster and faster, as if something was about to break through the shackles. Not good. Seeing this, Ling Yu suddenly realized something. Summon the Shenlong in the small basement with a height of only about 2 meters. With Shenlong's huge physique, I am afraid that all the nearby buildings will be lost. As Ling Yu thought about it, he unconsciously retreated to the corner. It's over, I didn't expect that I just traveled once, and it's going to be cold again. The rhythm of the dragon ball flashing became faster and faster, until the last dazzling light filled the whole room. Ling Yu closed her eyes subconsciously, and then heard a bang, followed by a gust of wind coming towards her. Quote dot 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 quote. Quote question mark quote. Just when Ling Yu was still wondering why he didn't feel anything, a loud and serious voice rang in his ears. Those who have collected all seven dragon balls, tell me your wish. No matter what your wish is, I can make it come true. But, there can only be one. Hearing this, Ling Yu slowly opened his eyes, took a closer look, and couldn't help but uttered two emotional shouts. I saw that the expected scene of the hundreds of meters long dragon rising into the sky and destroying the surrounding buildings did not appear. A miniature dragon that looks more than 10 meters long quietly floats above the dragon balls, and its tail is connecting with the light from the seven dragon balls. And Shenlong, who was stared at by Ling Yu with wise eyes, said rigidly again, those who have collected all seven dragon balls, tell your wish. No matter what wish, I can make it come true. But, only there is a. Ling Yu, who came back to his senses, was overjoyed immediately, and then took several deep breaths to force himself to calm down a little. Then I started to think seriously. To be a qualified Chinese traverser, one must have extraordinary lofty ideals. That is, to live. What a joke, even if you can realize your wish with Dragon Ball, you may not be able to survive in Marvel, where superheroes are everywhere. Not to mention not knowing what time it is now. What if it happens to be the time when a certain purple sweet potato master directs a large group of donut spaceships to travel to the Earth? 
Going back to the original world and having Dragon Balls, wouldn't you be invincible casually? After making up his mind, Ling Yu looked up at Shenlong who had been waiting for a long time but was still expressionless. He opened his hands and shouted loudly. Shenlong, I want to leave the Marvel world, send me back to my original world. Shenlong was silent for a few seconds, then leisurely replied. I'm sorry, this wish cannot be fulfilled. Ah, why? Isn't every wish come true? Pai. Ling Yu went crazy immediately when he heard the words, and asked loudly, shaking his fists. This wish has already involved the rules of the world, and it cannot be realized with my ability. Shenlong still replied without emotion. Wu, I am gone Linyong. After hearing this, Ling Yu knelt down in despair, put her hands on the ground, lowered her head and wanted to cry without tears. In the previous life, my parents died early, but they left a large inheritance and a dozen houses in the city center to me. Thinking of his life without worrying about food and clothing, the shabby environment around him, and the life that seems to be full of ups and downs in the future, Ling Yu felt that there was nothing to love in life, and a thought came to his mind, if you just hit your head and die now, will you be able to go back? Those who have collected all seven dragon balls, tell me your wish. No matter what your wish is, I can make it come true. But, there can only be one. Fulfill your dur. Ling Yu, who was kneeling on the ground and feeling sad, was immediately stimulated when he heard the words, he clenched his fists, stood up and hit Shenlong's expressionless face with a stride. But this miniature dragon seemed to be made of energy, Ling Yu's fist seemed to be slamming into the air, and with too much force, he staggered and fell to the ground. But Shenlong didn't respond at all to this, and still read without emotion, those who have collected all seven dragon balls, tell your wish. No matter what wish, I can make it come true. But, there can only be one. A horse buys beer. Ling Yu, who was lying on the ground with nowhere to vent his anger, already felt numb, turned over in embarrassment, closed his eyes and continued to think. Now that there is no way to return to the original world, life still has to go on. If you can only live in the Marvel world, you must have great strength. Think about the battle scene in Dragon Ball, one punch down and a planet is gone. What's even more powerful is Quan Wong, who can erase a universe with a wave of his hand. This kind of ability seems to be worse than the purple potato essence that has collected all six infinite gems. Thinking of this, Ling Yu shuddered, quickly got up from the ground, and couldn't wait to shout to Shenlong. I, I want to have the power of a king. Sorry, this wish cannot be granted. Ah, then, I want the power of the great priest. Quote dot dot dot. Sorry, this wish cannot be granted. The flame that had just ignited in Ling Yu's heart was extinguished immediately, but it burned again immediately. Since the strength of these two bosses, this trash Shenlong can't do it, but other things can always be done, right? But this time Ling Yu learned to be smart, and instead of directly opening his mouth to make a wish to Shenlong, he tried to ask. Shenlong, if I wish to obtain some kind of powerful physique or bloodline, can this be done? After waiting for nearly 10 seconds, Shenlong still did not answer, just when Ling Yu was a little disappointed. Quote dot dot dot. It depends on what kind of physique or bloodline you want. Nice. Ling Yu was overjoyed when he heard the words, pumped his fist excitedly, and then began to think. If you want to say which bloodline is the most powerful in Dragon Ball, it should be Majin Buu. Angel and the like should be as unrealizable as the Great Priest, and the God of Destroyer should be regarded as a kind of God, not a physique or bloodline. Don't you see that any race in other universes can become a God of Destruction? As for Majin Buu, one of the big bosses in the Dragon Ball world, he has extraordinary ability and can be recognized at first glance. As long as the cells exist, he can regenerate, and he can also increase his strength by absorbing others. Shenlong, Please grant me the bloodline of Majin Buu. Sorry, this wish cannot be granted. Ling Yu was a little disappointed when he heard the words, but he continued to try to make a wish. Shenlong, please grant me the bloodline of the complete Sharu. Sorry, this wish cannot be granted. Um, what about? Freezes. Sorry, this wish cannot be granted. I'm doing it. System, come out. Ling Yu couldn't bear it anymore and instead of silently chanting in his head, he called out to the system loudly. Host, calm down. How the hell are you telling me to calm down? That's it. Is this the so-called dragon that can make any wish come true? 
Are you kidding me? Hearing Ling Yu's hysterical shout, the system calmly replied, Host, it's really not our fault. The main reason is that the wish you made not only exceeds the scope of Shenlong's ability, but also touches the rules of the world. Power is conserved and cannot be given to you directly. And the blood of Majin Bu or cell that you just thought of will directly allow you to gain powerful power. And if the world rule detects that such a powerful force suddenly appeared without warning, it might just wipe you out. Oh my god, is it so scary? Ling Yu couldn't believe it when he heard the words, and was immediately terrified. Those who have collected all seven dragon balls, tell me your wish. No matter what your wish is, I can make it come true. But, there can only be one. There seemed to be a little urging and impatience in Shenlong's mechanical voice. And Ling Yu thinks about it, and it seems that only Saiyan blood is more suitable. The combat power of races is uneven, and it is not too difficult to realize it. And the physical fitness is definitely better than that of ordinary people on earth now, at least it can guarantee that Ling Yu will not die on the street. As long as you don't wish to become a Super Saiyan all of a sudden, there should be no big problem. The most important thing is, the appearance is similar to that of the earthlings, and after the transformation, he is very handsome. Afterwards, Ling Yu made up his mind again, took a deep breath, and shouted to Shenlong. Shenlong, please grant me the blood of a Saiyan. After speaking, Ling Yu stared at Shenlong with apprehension and anticipation. Just when Ling Yu was ready, she heard Shenlong say, I'm sorry. Finally, Shenlong's scarlet eyes lit up even scarlet, and he said, this wish is very simple. Then, the scarlet light from Shenlong's eyes shot out and hit Ling Yu's body. Immediately afterwards, Ling Yu's consciousness gradually blurred. In the dimness, the dragon in front of him gradually melted into a golden light ball, and the seven dragon balls on the ground broke away from the gravity and floated up. After absorbing the light cluster formed by the dragon, it gradually rose into the sky, and finally accelerated suddenly, turning into seven meteors and scattering away, and one of them flew directly into Ling Yu's body. But Ling Yu, whose mind seemed to have been disconnected from his body, went dark, and lay down on the ground again with a puff. Dot dot dot. After an unknown amount of time, Ling Yu struggled to open a gap in his closed eyes. The window in the room was actually an old piece of yellowed glass on the wall of the basement, which let in the sunlight from outside. Ling Yu squinted his eyes, quickly adapted to the brightness in the room, and sat up with some difficulty propping himself up on the ground. What happens? Memories flashed in Ling Yu's mind one by one, and then he was a little disappointed that he was not dreaming before. So he could only shake his head and accept this cruel reality. Then Ling Yu stood up, but found that his movements seemed a little inconvenient, as if the clothes on his body were too small. After exercising my body, I realized that my body, dot has become stronger. Could it be? Ling Yu reacted, quickly took off the t-shirt on his body, and then looked at his muscles in disbelief and overjoyed, and, the fluffy tail behind him. Saiyan blood. Ling Yu clenched his fists and felt the strength in his body, and felt that he could hit ten punches without any problem. Thinking of this, Ling Yu also thought of something, and quickly opened the system panel in his mind. Host, Ling Yu, Combat Power, 60, System Space, 5 Star Beat Petrochemical State. Seeing his current fighting power, Ling Yu was even more excited. 60 points. It is 10 times stronger than myself as an ordinary person before. But then something felt wrong. No. System, please explain to me, why did it increase tenfold? Ling Yu actually felt that the tenfold increase in combat power was too little. After all, in the world of Dragon Ball, even low-level fighters can be powerful enough to sweep a planet after they reach adulthood. Be content, host. A tenfold increase is already considered the aptitude of a superior fighter, and the host's combat effectiveness is not high in the first place, and he hasn't been trained, so how high can he be if he becomes a Saiyan? That is to say, as long as I exercise myself, I will soon be like the Saiyans in the Dragon Ball world. We are now in the Marvel world, so naturally it is calculated based on the power system of the Marvel world. Under the influence of the Marvel world rule, the combat power of the host will be weakened by 20 times compared with that in the Dragon Ball world. 20 times. This is too embarrassing, by the way, why is it a world rule? You brought me through time, are you still afraid of it? 
Opening square bracket question mark. Hey, hey, can't you? Is it illegal for you to take me across time? Seeing that the system fell into an inexplicable silence, Ling Yu's heart tightened and he asked hastily. Don't be nervous, with me here, you won't be discovered. Cut, it's better like this. Ling Yu was speechless about this somewhat unreliable system. But things have come to this, Ling Yu has no other better choice. And now it seems that Ling Yu's harvest is not bad. A combat power of 60 points is enough for Ling Yu to survive. However, the system's ruthless prompt made Ling Yu's heart cold again. Host, I have to remind you. Although it is said that you have 60 points of combat power now, it does not mean that you have the ability to display 60 points of combat power. What do you mean? It means literally. Ling Yu fell into deep thought again. The system is right, this is like a baby who just learned to crawl is holding a gun, this baby may not be able to exert the power of the gun. This is the case with Ling Yu now. Although his combat effectiveness has been improved, he only has strength in vain. To be precise, Ling Yu is just a physically stronger person now. Thinking of this, Ling Yu felt annoyed again. Kong has all his strength and can't use it, but it's too uncomfortable. And now Ling Yu doesn't understand anything, not even the method of qi cultivation, so the improvement of strength will definitely not be fast. It seems that before Dragon Ball recovers its energy, it is necessary to exercise the foundation of the body first. After all, if you want to cultivate good qi, a strong body and foundation are also very important. And now that I am a Saiyan, I can definitely increase my combat effectiveness through exercise. Thinking of this, Ling Yu suddenly felt less sad, and had plans for her next wish. A. Hey, this is. Then, Ling Yu's attention was attracted by the five star beads in the system space. System, what's the situation with this five star dragon ball? This is a special function of this system. Every time you make a wish, the five star beads will automatically return to the system space. Ling Yu also showed a gratified smile when he heard the words, and then asked, Hiss, why is it a five star bead? As a Chinese, don't you know what the five stars represent? Ling Yu was a little speechless when he heard the words, but one thing to say, the five star beads are really meaningful to Ling Yu. At least it can let Ling Yu remember that even if he has traveled through time, he is still a Chinese. But a Chinese is using the power of Japan in the United States. Ling Yu shook his head, stopped thinking about what was there and what was not, and asked again. By the way, it will take a year for Dragon Ball to return to its original state. This is not necessarily true. Currently, the recharging speed of Dragon Ball depends on the energy around it. Use energy absorbing to speed up your own recharging speed. Moreover, the energy of the seven Dragon Balls can be shared. In other words, as long as one Dragon Ball is fully charged, the other six Dragon Balls will also be restored. Moreover, the system's Dragon Ball radar will only display its location after the Dragon Ball is restored. After listening to the system's explanation, Ling Yu was very happy. If this is the case, then I can hide the five star beads in my hand in a place full of energy, so I don't have to wait as long as a year. But Ling Yu really doesn't know how many places on the earth are full of energy. Kunlun. Kiel Burial Place. Kamar Taj. Just think about these places. With Ling Yu's current ability, he can't even find the door. Not to mention that he is penniless now, and it is a problem to have a full meal, let alone want to take a plane. Grunt. Grunt. When it came to eating, Ling Yu's stomach suddenly let out a horrible cry. After being excited, his body also felt a sense of powerlessness, and Ling Yu immediately withered. Ah, I'm so hungry, I have no energy. Ling Yu glanced at the sunlight outside, then looked at the broken alarm clock on the table without a glass cover, only to realize that it was almost noon the next day. I made my wish after 9 o'clock last night, but I didn't expect that this sleep turned out to be more than 10 hours of sleep. But Ling Yu felt dizzy when he thought that he didn't even have a coin now. When crossing, Ling Yu's identity seems to have been arranged. It's just an ordinary Chinese man, also called Ling Yu, struggling to survive in New York, USA. But the visa expired a long time ago, but I don't know why I don't want to go back to my country, so I live in the gray area of Clinton. Unfortunately, when the former owner went to the street to buy bread, he ran away in a hurry because there were policemen in front of him. 
but a sharp-eyed policeman sees it, thinks it's some guilty thief, although it's more or less the same, and a fierce chase ensues. When, Ling Yu, managed to get rid of the police behind him and return to this small basement, he died suddenly because of his weak body and excessive intense exercise. So, Ling Yu replaced the original, Ling Yu, so logically, but the memory is not much left. Alas, I'm also a poor person. China is so good, why can't you think about it and have to stay in this poor place in the United States? I think there is no way to go back. Speaking of the system, other Chinese traversers are living happily, why am I so miserable? No matter how you say it, you have to let me eat. Sorry, this is not within the scope of this system to consider. Moreover, this system has improved the English level of the host, and now the host can talk with others without barriers. Gone. Then Ling Yu set his sights on the untouched bread on the table. Poor X, he left before taking a bite of the bread he bought with his life. Alas, let me inherit your legacy. Ling Yu wolfed down the already small amount of bread in three or five mouthfuls, but it didn't increase the feeling of fullness too much. Oh, let's go out and have a look. Look around to see if there is any job that covers food. Thinking about it, Ling Yu changed into a suit that still fit her. Definitely, Ling Yu didn't forget to hide his tail in his pants. If someone saw a fluffy tail waving behind his buttocks, he might find a mysterious organization to capture him and slice him for research. Afterwards, Ling Yu packed his things into his backpack and left the basement that no longer belonged to him. That's right, what is even more pitiful is the current Ling Yu. Not only was there no food to eat, even the lease term of this small basement had expired. Dot dot dot. Carrying a somewhat worn out backpack, Ling Yu walked on the streets of Clinton, which seemed to be relatively stable during the day, but at night, those hidden evils would tear off their masks, and this place would also turn into hell. But Ling Yu, who was worried about Zhang Zhang, didn't have the heart to think about these things at the moment. Looking at the hot dogs and ice cream on the carts by the side of the road, his saliva was almost drooling. But thinking of his empty pockets, Ling Yu could only watch helplessly, then gritted his teeth and passed by. Okay. Ling Yu was walking, and suddenly stopped in front of a shop on the street. Sister Zhang Restaurant. This is the name of this restaurant, and it is still written in Chinese. Below the big Chinese signboard is a small English translation, Miss Zhang Restaurant. It also appeared in the memory fragments left by the predecessor, and it was obviously a Chinese restaurant. But it seemed that he was afraid of being recognized as a Chinese and his identity would be discovered, so he never came to eat. But now Ling Yu doesn't care so much, if someone finds out that he is illegal and wants to send him back to his country, then Ling Yu can't wait. China in the Marvel world is always safer than the United States, right? If you swaggered to the police station and revealed your identity, with NYPD's pissing nature, maybe he would shoot you a few times directly, and then charge you with wanting to assault the police afterwards. Never underestimate the racism of white people in this era. Ling Yu has figured it out just now, and it seems that it is only the beginning of 2010, there should be some time before Tony Stark was kidnapped, and Ling Yu can't remember the exact time. I checked the information, and the timeline of Iron Man 1 was changed after the release of Avengers Alliance 1, and it was indeed 2010. Wait until Iron Man is officially born, and then proudly announce his superhero identity. After that, the level of danger in the Marvel Universe will skyrocket. Thinking of this, Ling Yu couldn't help clenching his fists again. Be sure to improve your strength quickly. But the most important thing at the moment, is to fill the stomach. Ling Yu looked at the restaurant in front of him with a fairly good business, took a deep breath, and walked forward. The interior of the restaurant is neither too big nor too small. According to visual inspection, it is about the file size of a high school classroom. There are seats of various sizes, only one or two are empty. Surprisingly, not all the guests are Chinese, but there are still many foreign faces. They all skillfully use chopsticks, drink and chat, and it seems that most of them are regular customers. Walking among the crowd, a waitress who seemed to be of mixed ethnic Chinese was familiar to Ling Yu, carrying two plates of dishes, but an immature voice caught Ling Yu's attention and interrupted his memory. Hello, guest, are you from Washa? Hearing the familiar Chinese, Ling Yu couldn't help but smile and looked back. 
I saw a little boy about 9 or 10 years old behind the counter, sitting on a chair and watching Ling Yu. Correct. The little boy was also a little happy when he heard Ling Yu's answer. He glanced at the busy waitress not far away, picked up the menu and notebook on the counter, walked up to Ling Yu and asked skillfully, Welcome to Sister Zhang's restaurant, what would you like to eat? As he spoke, he handed the menu to Ling Yu. Ling Yu took the menu with some embarrassment, but was embarrassed to read it, and asked the little boy with some hesitation, Well, actually, I want to ask, are you still recruiting employees here? What? The little boy was at a loss, frowned and blinked, turned around and ran to the curtain door next to the counter, and shouted in. Mom, there is a washa big brother who came to ask if we are still hiring. There should be the kitchen on the other side of the curtain, and the sound of the gas stove starting and the friction of the spatula were still coming from inside. At the moment, it also stopped. Then, a face flushed by the fire poked out from the curtain. The standard oval face, somewhat casual but shows the temperament of oriental beauty meatball head. The reddish cheeks caused by the high temperature in the kitchen made her even more charming. After seeing Ling Yu's appearance clearly, she seemed to be taken aback, and then she walked out from inside. Although she was wearing an apron, she couldn't hide her curvy figure at all. She walked quickly to the back of the counter, took out a clean towel from underneath, and wiped the sweat off her face. Then he smiled and asked Ling Yu, You want to work in our restaurant, right? Ling Yu quickly reacted and replied, That's right, lady boss. Are you still recruiting? I am very strong and capable. Hey, why do you feel that this is a little bit wrong? Hey, EMM, can you help out with some work first? Let's have a good chat after the meal is over. Don't worry, if you do well, I will apply for you. Hearing what the proprietress said, Ling Yu beamed with joy, and quickly agreed, Okay, no problem. What do I need to do? Sister Zhang, what's wrong? At this time, the waitress who was busy just now found out what was going on here, and thought something happened, so she came over and asked worriedly. It's all right. Sister Zhang patted her shoulder with a smile, and asked Ling Yu, By the way, they all call me Sister Zhang, so you should call me that too, what's your name? Sister Zhang, my name is Ling Yu. Ling in the early morning, you in defense. Okay, Ling Yu, this is Sky, you can help her with her for a while. The main thing is to clean up the table and run errands, it won't be difficult. Sky, could it be that? Ling Yu didn't have time to think about it, and responded with a smile, Okay, I see. Okay, then I'll get busy first, let's have a good chat later. Sister Zhang hurried back to the kitchen after she finished speaking, and continued cooking. Ling Yu and Sky looked at each other, not knowing what to say for a while. Hey, waiter, please bring me a bottle of fat house happy water. At this time, a table of guests not far away raised their hands and shouted at the two of them. Ling Yu was the first to react, and after a quick reply, he walked quickly to the refrigerator and took out a bottle of happy water and delivered it to the table of guests. Sky at the moment also came over, took a ballpoint pen and wrote on the paper on the table while saying to Ling Yu. If the guest wants to get a drink, remember to write it down. Ling Yu was taken aback for a moment, and thanked with a smile, Um, okay, I remember. Thank you. You're welcome, I'll give you this pen, and I'll get another one. Sky said and handed the pen to Ling Yu, and then continued to work. Ling Yu didn't think too much, because this small restaurant was really busy. What's more important is to see the plates of delicious food in my hands, but I can only deliver them to other people's tables, watching them eat with big mouthfuls. Ling Yu's already empty stomach suddenly felt even more uncomfortable. Wu, hold back. Even if we can't reach an agreement later, we must have a big meal. Dot dot dot. Therefore, Ling Yu persisted in his will until the last table of guests paid the bill. And the time has come to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and the lunch time has passed, so the restaurant will not accept guests for the time being. Ling Yu and Sky cleaned up the last table and walked into the back kitchen with the dishes. Sister Zhang and the little boy were already washing the dishes. This little boy is also sensible. When he was busy just now, he was helping to settle the accounts and pay the bills at the counter, and he hadn't made any mistakes yet. Ah, thank you for your hard work. Seeing Ling Yuskai walking in, Sister Zhang didn't stop her work. Put down the bowls and chopsticks first, shall we eat first? 
Eat. Yes, yes. Ling Yu heard the word, eat. His eyes lit up immediately, and he couldn't help shouting. Sister Zhang was stunned for a moment, and then said with some embarrassment, Thank you for helping us with the work. Come on, wash your hands quickly, and try my craft. Okay. Ling Yu quickly put down the bowl and chopsticks, and Sky and the little boy also washed their hands together, helping to take out the prepared meals. Seems like seeing Ling Yu drooling over the meals just now, the portion of the dishes Zhang made this time was much larger than the servings. Everyone sat down one by one, Ling Yu filled a large bowl of rice, and when Sister Zhang asked everyone to start, she stretched out her chopsticks like a wild horse running wild. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Ten minutes later, Ling Yu put down the bowls and chopsticks in his hands and let out a sigh of satisfaction. Ah, I'm full. In fact, I ate half full, mainly because I was afraid that I would eat too much, and the other three people would have nothing to eat. Wow, big brother, you eat so much. The little boy was both shocked and admired, it was the first time he saw someone who could eat so much. Then I looked down at my rice, which hadn't been reduced much, and suddenly felt a little bad. Ah, this, this. Ling Yu scratched the back of his head in embarrassment, not knowing what to say. Ah ha ha, Ling Yu, you are so tall and strong, it's normal to eat a lot. Sister Zhang didn't care, she said with a smile, and then educated the little boy. Zhang Jinrui, look at Ling Yu big brother. Learn a little bit, don't eat all day, just eat junk food. Mom, it turned out that the boy was called Zhang Jinrui, and at the moment was blushing and shouting in dissatisfaction. Sister Zhang, Xiao Rui is still a child. Sky, who is full at the moment, also helped Zhang Jinrui to speak. And Sister Zhang no longer made it difficult for Zhang Jinrui, she also put down the bowls and chopsticks in her hand, and said seriously. Ling Yu, how do you feel after working for so long? Hearing Sister Zhang's question, Ling Yu also knew it was time to get down to business. Well, I think it's pretty good. It won't be very hard. But I'm really busy. Sister Zhang, do you still need someone? Needs are needs, but the wages here may not be very high. Ling Yu blushed slightly when he heard this, and asked with some hesitation, Um. Actually, salary is not an issue. The main thing is, I. Sister Zhang, can you provide food and accommodation here? What? If I can cover room and board, I don't need salary. Seeing Sister Zhang's surprised expression, Ling Yu hastily added. Wu. EMM, in terms of where we live, we have a utility room upstairs. If you don't mind, we should be able to live in after tidying up. I don't mind, as long as I can live. Hearing Sister Zhang's words, Ling Yu's heart was suddenly filled with hope. Sister Zhang. But Sky was a little worried and wanted to talk to Sister Zhang. I understand, Sky, don't worry. Sister Zhang patted Sky's hand first, and then said to Ling Yu. I've seen you before. I prevented a Chinese girl from being robbed in the alley not far from our restaurant. The girl ran away, but you were beaten to death by those gangsters. I originally wanted to go up and help you, but I was afraid of causing trouble, so I left. Speaking of which, I'm still sorry for you. After hearing this, Sky was also a little touched, and stopped thinking about persuading Sister Zhang, and looked at Ling Yu with complicated emotions. When Ling Yu was mentioned by Sister Zhang, she also recalled it, and said with a smile, Oh, it should be. Alright kid, since you don't have a place to live now, then go clean up the utility room first. Xiao Rui, finish your meal quickly and help Ling Yu big brother clean up. Quote. It is good. Zhang Jinrui agreed, lowered his head and ate seriously. Ling Yu was also a little overjoyed, and quickly stood up, bowed and thanked, thank you, Sister Zhang. Ha ha, what a big deal, we are all from China, and it is right for us to help each other, and it can be regarded as my settlement of the guilt left in my heart at that time. Don't forget you still have to work for me. As for the salary, just give half of it. Sky's current salary is 1,400 US dollars a month, and your salary is only 700 US dollars a month, is that okay? Quote. After listening to what Sister Zhang said, Ling Yu was even more moved, her nose was sore, but she was not polite anymore, she nodded solemnly, and thanked her solemnly again. Dot dot dot. An hour later, Ling Yu quickly tidied up the utility room upstairs. 
Although it's not too big and it's a bit crowded, Ling Yu thinks it's a hundred times better than the previous basement. Ling Yu big brother, this is the quilt and pillow that mom asked me to give you. Okay, thank you Xiaori. You're welcome. Ling Yu took the quilt and pillow from Zhang Jinrui and put them on the bed. Then he glanced at the alarm clock on the box temporarily serving as the bedside table, it was almost 4 o'clock. So Ling Yu clapped his hands and said, Okay, just tidy up later. Let's go down and help first. The stairs leading to the second floor are not inside the restaurant, but in the alley next to the restaurant. Ling Yu pushed open the iron door at the entrance of the stairs, and closed it after Zhang Jinrui came out. Then he walked to the half-open iron rolling door of the front restaurant and got in. Sister Zhang is processing the ingredients for dinner in the kitchen. Sister Zhang's full name is Zhang Yuning. She used to be from Yandu, China. Five or six years ago, a family of three immigrated to the United States for some reason. After her husband died unexpectedly due to something, he went around and came to this not-so-busy street to run this restaurant. Sky, on the other hand, had been working here a month ago. She lived alone in a small apartment nearby, and Zhang Jinrui said that she was an orphan. Although she was not much older than him, she did things neatly and calmly. All this I learned from chatting with Zhang Jinrui when I was just cleaning up the room. As for the others, Ling Yu didn't ask any more questions. When the two of them washed the dishes together after lunch, Ling Yu had already secretly looked at Sky. It is indeed exactly the same as the shield agent, drama, but now it looks more immature, it seems that the age should not be too old. Ling Yu, ahem, I'm just good at observing, I'm definitely not greedy. Absolutely not. Seeing Ling Yu lift the curtain of the kitchen door, Zhang Yuning smiled at him and said, Ling Yu is here. Is the room tidy? Well, it's packed, it's much better than where I lived before. Hearing Ling Yu's answer, Zhang Yuning was taken aback for a moment, nodded, and continued to cut the meat while ordering. That's good, I will trouble you to wash all the lettuce in the basket now, sky should be done soon. It will come. Dang dang. Sapras, I'm coming. As soon as Zhang Yuning finished speaking, before Ling Yu could respond, Sky jumped in from outside the curtain and waved his hands to greet the two of them. Hey Sky, we just mentioned you. I've heard about it, Miss Zhang. Let's not talk about it, Ling Yu and I went to wash the vegetables. After Sky finished speaking, he gave Ling Yu a look, and then walked past Ling Yu to wash the vegetables on the other side. Looking at Sky, who is still so optimistic and always smiling, Ling Yu couldn't help feeling a little emotional. It seems that Sky has not joined the Rising Tide organization yet. However, it is still better for Sky as he is now. I have to try it in the future to see if I can change Sky's fate. After thinking so much, it only took two seconds. As soon as Sky picked up the first lettuce, Ling Yu also reacted, and walked forward to wash it together. I have to say that although the catering service industry does not seem to be difficult, it is indeed tiring enough. Fortunately, most of the customers who came to the restaurant were workers from nearby factories, so the restaurant was only open during meal times. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., it's all dinner time. Although there are not as many people as at noon, there are not many people there. By the time Ling Yu and the others finished all the chores and finished their dinner, it was almost 9 o'clock in the evening. Huh, I've worked hard for you today. Sky, it's getting late, you should go home first and be careful. Zhang Yuning put the last bowl into the sterilizer and clicked on the start button. After heaving a sigh of relief, she instructed Sky. Okay, then I'll go back first. Sky did not shirk, put away the rag in his hand, said hello and left the restaurant. Okay, then let's go upstairs and rest. The three of Ling Yu didn't have anything else to do. After pulling down and locking the shutter door of the restaurant with Zhang Yuning, they went upstairs to wash and rest. Finally returning to the small room that was temporarily his own, Ling Yu who fell on the bed was not very sleepy. After all, he fell into a coma for so long yesterday, and Isaiah's physical fitness, this amount of exercise is not enough to make him tired. So, Ling Yu began to think about the next plan again. Although I already have Saiyan blood, my combat effectiveness is still not too high, and my own cultivation still needs to be put on the agenda. But the most important problem now is, I don't have a way to cultivate, Qi. Qi, 
after all, is the basic force that runs through the world of Dragon Ball. Without a systematic exercise method, I don't know how difficult it is to cultivate chi by myself. Then Ling Yu thought about his current 60 point combat power. Although he couldn't fully utilize it, he should be able to try to feel his own chi. Thinking of this, Ling Yu no longer lay down. He got up and sat cross legged on the bed, closed his eyes, and tried hard to feel his chi. However, after more than 10 minutes, I still felt nothing. Tisk, it shouldn't be. Didn't Vegeta and the others in Dragon Ball be able to fly or emit energy bombs without being exposed to Qi? Why do I feel nothing at all? Ling Yu was very strange and decided to ask the system in his mind again. System, how can I cultivate Qi now? Ding, the time for the smart novice guide is over. The system will only provide the proper functions for the host to use. If you have other questions, please check the instructions in the lower left corner by yourself. Seeing this, Ling Yu almost couldn't hold back his curses, and looked at the message that just popped up on the system interface in disbelief. But no matter how Ling Yu yelled next, the guy who didn't want to be beaten before didn't appear again. I'll fight with you, what is this? It took a while before Ling Yu calmed down the anger in his heart. Then find the instructions in the lower left corner that the system just said. Opening square bracket question mark question mark. What the hell? If you don't look for it, you don't know, and looking for Ling Yu is even more annoying. I saw a near transparent exclamation mark, about the size of a little fingernail, looming in the lower left corner. After opening it with the mind, a paragraph of text popped up. Welcome to the Dragon Ball system. Note, this system will provide smart novice guidance within 24 hours after the first activation. During this period, the host can ask at will, and the system will know everything. Where is the cheating father? Shaking and cold, Ling Yu's clenched fists could no longer be held back. Not even mentioning such an important matter is outrageous. Ling Yu took a few deep breaths and continued to read. Fortunately, the function of the system is still there. Not only has Dragon Ball radar, but also combat power detection function. The combat effectiveness detection function of the system is different from the wearable combat effectiveness detector. The displayed information is more granular, but the disadvantage is that it can only be used within the line of sight. Compared with breath sensing, there are advantages and disadvantages. The most useful thing is that you can show how long it will take to charge all the Dragon Balls by observing the existing Dragon Balls. Ling Yu was pleasantly surprised to find that it was only about a month before the Dragon Balls were fully charged. Could it be that a Dragon Ball just fell into a place with a lot of energy? Hey, it won't fall near the Tesseract or Eye of Agamotto, right? Thinking of this, Ling Yu suddenly panicked. But soon he was relieved, with his little combat power now, what's the use of worrying? Oh, life is hard. Ling Yu sighed sadly, then remembered that he still had a problem to solve. That is the tail on my body now. Although it is also stated in the description of the unreliable system, the system will absolutely protect Ling Yu's own privacy. In other words, Ling Yu's spirit and soul will not be touched by others, after all, it is related to the existence of the system. And even if someone else gets Ling Yu's blood or cells, they will only be slightly stronger than ordinary people when tested, and Ling Yu's identity will not be revealed. However, the Saiyan tail is still an unstable factor. Not to mention that the current Ling Yu can't perfectly control his power. If one day I accidentally saw the moon and turned into an ape-shaped green fat man and lost control, it would be cool. So Ling Yu loosened his trousers, revealing his hidden tail. Looking at the dangling fluffy tail, Ling Yu curiously tried to grab it. Ah, Ling Yu only felt that his body was suddenly out of control and he couldn't lift up with any strength, and couldn't even sit still. After he fell on the bed with a plop, he let go of his hands. After recovering her strength, Ling Yu was afraid for a while. Oh my god, is it so scary. It seems that this tail is going to die. As he said, Ling Yu took out the scissors without hesitation, aimed at the tail without hesitation, and then. Click. Ah. Quote dot 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 quote. Bang bang bang. Ling Yu, what's the matter with you? Is something wrong? Soon, Zhang Yuning's worried inquiry came from outside the door. Then, the door opened from the inside. I saw Ling Yu covering his tailbone with his left hand and wearing a pain mask on his face, 
but he still squeezed out an ugly smile and said, It's okay, Miss Zhang, I just slipped off the bed accidentally, the pain will be fine after a while. Zhang Yuning breathed a sigh of relief when she heard the words, and scolded with a smile, Why are you so careless? Did you fall on your butt? I'll get you some Dida wine. No need, Sister Zhang, I just didn't react all of a sudden, I was scared, it won't hurt very much, I don't bother you. Quote dot 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 quote. After chatting with Zhang Yuning a few times to make sure that there was nothing wrong with her and that the pain was gone, she left. Ling Yu also closed the door, taking a deep breath constantly. Mother Gan Lin, how can it be so painful? This reminded Ling Yu of the feeling that the anesthetic had passed when he cut the banana peel in his previous life. But looking at the tail still twitching gently on the ground, Ling Yu also heaved a sigh of relief. MD, it seems that I will find a chance to make a wish in the future to control the transformation. If I have to do this every time the tail grows out, will it kill me? I just don't know when the tail will grow. The Saiyan's tail doesn't seem to grow a little bit, but suddenly grows out after a period of time. This needs to be paid attention to. Early the next morning, Ling Yu greeted Zhang Yuning and went out to exercise. But it's exercise, but it's actually doing aerobic exercise and the like. Ling Yu doesn't know anything about systematic exercise methods, so he can only figure it out by himself. The Clinton District is the largest slum in New York, and even on the outer side there are no parks or the like. So Ling Yu can only exercise on the roof of a four-story apartment not far from the restaurant. This is the tallest building within a few kilometers of the surrounding area. If you do things on this rooftop, you are not afraid of being seen. Moreover, the bottom end of the fire ladder for people to climb up was also broken by two meters, and no one would normally be able to climb it. Definitely, with Ling Yu's current physique, he reached the rooftop easily. When you don't know how to cultivate qi correctly, exercising your physical fitness becomes the first priority. So Ling Yu resolutely decided to learn the exercise method of a powerful bald teacher. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and 10 kilometers of long distance running every day. As for the problem of baldness, the hairstyle of Saiyans is inherently unchanged, so it should not be a big problem, right? But Ling Yu can't control these anymore, because after he finished 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and 100 squats, he was pleasantly surprised to find that his combat effectiveness had increased. Host. Ling Yu. Combat power. 65. System space. 5-star beat stone state. Estimated recovery time. 30 days. Although it only increased by 5 points, Ling Yu could clearly feel that his control over power was a little more refined. If Ling Yu could only display a dozen points of combat power before, now Ling Yu can display about 20 points of combat power. Overjoyed, Ling Yu calmed down a bit, then stopped staying on the rooftop and ran about 10 kilometers on the street. Although the combat power has not increased much, the current control of power makes Ling Yu more happy than simply increasing the combat power. Although I don't know if this exercise method has a better effect on Saiyans, it is enough for Ling Yu to activate his body functions. After finishing all the training content, Ling Yu returned to the restaurant. Although the restaurant is closed in the morning, it is still necessary to keep it clean and tidy. Sky usually works in the restaurant when it is close to the meal time, so Zhang Yuning and Zhang Jinrui do the usual hygiene. But now that there is Ling Yu, it is natural to let him do it, and Zhang Yuning is responsible for the sanitation of the kitchen. As for Zhang Jinrui, as an honored student, he naturally had to complete the summer homework assigned by Zhang Yuning. Primary and middle school students in the United States are very happy, because schools generally rarely issue written assignments to them, and schools and parents pay more attention to children's social practice. When they go to high school or college, it is when they really need to study hard. However, Zhang Yuning, who is a native of China, doesn't think so, so relying on her cultural heritage graduated from Qingbei University, she will bring Zhang Jinrui good memories every summer and winter vacation. Zhang Jinrui didn't have so much homework when he was supposed to help with the store. But now with Ling Yu, Zhang Yuning feels that Zhang Jinrui can focus more on his studies. No, just after the restaurant opened, I was lying at the counter happily swimming in the ocean of knowledge. When, when, when? Just when Ling Yu put all the stools on the table, 
he suddenly heard some movement from outside the door. Immediately afterwards, the shutter door was knocked, followed by a shout from outside the door. Hey, Miss Zhang, I've brought you today's ingredients. Come, come, come. Hearing the shouts outside, Zhang Yuning quickly came out of the kitchen. Ling Yu pushed all the shutter doors up first, and saw an old Caucasian man standing outside the door, with short gray hair under a somewhat worn-out straw hat, and a very kind smile on his face. An old-fashioned pickup truck was parked behind him, and the bucket behind the car was filled with a mountain of ingredients, including raw meat and vegetables, and a complete range of them. Oh, Uncle Waiters came so early today. Thank you for your hard work. Ha ha, there are a lot of goods to be delivered today. The first one is you. Uncle Waiters laughed, looked at Ling Yu again after speaking, and asked Zhang Yuning, who is this? This is the new employee I applied for yesterday. His name is Ling Yu. He is from China like me. Zhang Yuning patted Ling Yu on the shoulder and introduced to Uncle Waiters. Ling Yu also smiled and greeted respectfully. Uncle Waiters has a very familiar personality. He pulled down the straw hat on his head and hung it on the back of his neck. He took two steps forward and patted Ling Yu's arm, and said with a smile, Ha ha ha, the young man looks very good. Zhang, this but it's a good thing. Thank you, Uncle Waiters, Ling Yu, he is really hardworking. That's good, come on, help move all the ingredients for today. Then, Ling Yu helped Uncle Waiters move all the ingredients from the restaurant out of the car. Zhang Yuning ordered Ling Yu to move all the ingredients into the kitchen, drove Zhang Jinrui to a table in the corner to continue doing homework, and then settled accounts with Uncle Waiters in front of the counter. Uncle Waiters took the money from Zhang Yuning, hesitated, sighed, and said, Oh, Zhang, I heard from the shopkeepers in Chinatown yesterday that Xiao Zan has been looking for you since your shop moved out. Although everyone is tight-lipped, I think it won't be too long before he comes to the door next time. Hearing Uncle Waiter's words, the smile on Zhang Yuning's face froze immediately, a trace of worry and boredom appeared in her eyes, she shook her head and said. Don't worry, Uncle Waiters, this place is so remote, and it's not under his control, he probably won't come again. Seeing the forced smile on Zhang Yuning's face, Uncle Waiters also knew that there was nothing he could do, so he said helplessly, Oh, if you really have no other choice, you should leave this place. It's really. Oh, let's not talk about it, I still have to deliver the goods. After finishing speaking, he shook his head, got in the car and left. Zhang Yuning looked at the car going away, turned around and went back to the kitchen to continue working, but a trace of sadness lingered on her face and could not dissipate for a long time. Ling Yu, who was arranging the ingredients in the kitchen, heard the conversation between the two through a curtain. While I was a little curious in my heart, I also knew that this was not what I should ask. When Zhang Yuning wanted to talk, she would naturally tell Ling Yu, or, when that person named Xiao Zan appeared, he would know. Dot dot dot. Nothing else happened today, Zhang Yuning announced that she was off work after finishing her get off work at night. What Uncle Waiters said in the morning seemed to make her a little absent minded all day long. Sky asked Ling Yu a little puzzled, but Ling Yu shrugged and said that he didn't know, so there was no further text. After Sky came home from get off work, Ling Yu couldn't be bothered. The restaurant closed early today, and it's only early 8 o'clock. Ling Yu hasn't had a good time shopping since time travel, and now that she has finally settled for food and lodging, how can she not enjoy a normal life while it's still peaceful? So Ling Yu greeted Zhang Yuning, and went out after being stuffed with tens of dollars by Zhang Yuning, saying it was an advanced salary. Ling Yu wandered around, following the flow of people, and came to a busy street. There were rows of stalls parked on both sides of the street, and there was a lot of people, a little noisy, but Ling Yu didn't feel disgusted by it. When passing by a toy stall, Ling Yu stopped and picked up a mask of Monkey King Monkey King with interest. The material of the mask is not bad, it is very comfortable to touch, and the surface coating is also very delicate. Ling Yu asked about the price, and it was 4 US dollars, which was okay, so he paid for it and bought it. And a small gold just appeared in Ling Yu's heart. Please, don't hurt me, I. I'll give you all the money I have on me. In a dark alley in Hell's Kitchen. Seeing the little white face in front of him tremblingly took out his wallet and handed it up, the four fierce gangsters with knives around him all looked at each other and smiled. 
A black guy who took the lead happily took the wallet in his hand, roughly counted the banknotes inside, nodded in satisfaction, then reached out and patted him on the shoulder, saying, Very good, you are very sensible, you you can go. The little white face immediately breathed a sigh of relief, and quickly put his hands together to express his thanks. Well, okay, thank you, quote, hey. But before the words fell, a dull voice came from the alley. Everyone in the alley turned their heads and saw a man wearing a monkey mask, a black coat and a hood walking towards them. Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, are you kidding me, ha 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 ha. Seeing the appearance of the visitor clearly, the four punks couldn't help laughing. Quote dot dot dot, where did Shabi come from? Get the hell out of here, or take care of your life. A white man with a red turban on the far left almost laughed, raised the knife in his hand, pointed viciously at the person in front of him and said. Before the man in the mask could respond, the leading black gangster reached out and stopped him. Hey, Jess, you shouldn't persuade someone who wants to be brave. Monkey King to get out of here, ha ha ha. As he spoke, he couldn't help laughing. It was Ling Yu who came. After buying the mask, he bought a few clothes nearby, and after dressing up, he went deep into Hell's Kitchen. One is for the insignificant sense of justice in my heart, and the other is to speed up my control of power through some battles. Definitely, it would be even better if we could squeeze a little oil out of these gangsters. I have to say that Hell's Kitchen at night is really chaotic. During the daytime, the streets were considered quiet. After being shrouded in darkness, dramas such as drug dealing, murder and robbery continued to be staged. Ling Yu had only walked in for a few minutes when he saw such a scene, so he walked in. The behavior and attitude of the group of gangsters in front of him made Ling Yu feel a little annoyed, so without saying a word, he quickly walked towards the leading black gangster. Seeing that his ridicule and deterrence had no effect, the black gangster was immediately very angry, and said violently. Don't eat the sour radish. It seems that if you don't teach you a lesson, you won't be smart. After speaking, he took a big step forward, swung the knife in his right hand, and slashed at Ling Yu in front of him. I saw Ling Yu stretched out his left hand like lightning, grabbed his wrist, and the knife that was slashing at Ling Yu also stopped in the air. What? The, the black man who was grabbed by the wrist was slightly taken aback, because he didn't see Ling Yu's movements clearly at all. But Ling Yu's next action made him no longer think about this problem. Click. Ling Yu pushed his left hand slightly, and the black man only heard the sound of bones breaking in his wrist, followed by a sharp pain. Ah! Accompanied by the black man's screams, Ling Yu didn't stop what he was doing, and punched the black man in the abdomen with his right hand. The black man's screams also stopped abruptly, and his mouth was already filled with acid water and a strong smell of blood. Ling Yu also released his left hand in good time after punching, so the black gangster also flew several meters because of Ling Yu's punch. Shet. Tom. Hack him. Seeing this, the other three gangsters all uttered an exclamation, and the white man named Jess reacted first, and after a shout, he rushed forward with a knife without waiting for the two to react. Ling Yu's eyes froze, and his muscles tensed slightly. What made Ling Yu so nervous was that the fighting power tested on these four people just now, only this white man reached 12 points, and the other three were either 5 points or 6 points. But as the rushing white man Jess was punched in the face by Ling Yu and fell to the ground, his nervousness also turned into surprise. Before Ling Yu could think about the reason, the remaining two gangsters also reacted. Shouting and slashing at Ling Yu at the same time with the gleaming knife, Ling Yu took a step back, and the attack of the two fell through immediately. Then Ling Yu punched and kicked, and the two gangsters naturally fell into the arms of Mother Earth. Quote dot 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 quote. Seeing that these four gangsters were easily dealt with by the ruthless man wearing a mask in front of them, they are now lying on the ground screaming like four dead fish. The white guy who was robbed looked at Ling Yu with more fear than gratitude. Ling Yu naturally also discovered the fear of the white guy towards him, so he didn't say much. Go to the black gangster named Tom, pick up the white guy's wallet and throw it back to him. Leave quickly, and don't come to this kind of place in the future. The white guy's clothes don't look like a poor man living in Hell's Kitchen, and he doesn't know what he's doing here. After taking back his wallet, the Caucasian guy slightly suppressed the fear in his heart, thanked Ling Yu constantly, and then ran away from the alley.
Seeing the white guy disappear around the corner, Ling Yu also heaved a sigh of relief, and knelt down to search for the money from the black gangster. Hmm, there is still a lot of oil and water, the needle does not poke. Ling Yu almost ransacked the black gangster's pockets and found more than $100. Just as Ling Yu was thinking, suddenly there was a throbbing in his heart, and the hairs all over his body stood on end instantly. Boom. Ling Yu rolled to the side subconsciously, and then a loud gunshot echoed in the alley. Jesus. What the hell are you? Ling Yu looked back with lingering fear, and it turned out that it was the white man Jess just now, holding a revolver in his hand. But when he saw that Ling Yu could dodge bullets with his back turned to him, he panicked immediately. Ling Yu felt very annoyed and scared. Although he didn't know if he could block the bullet with his Saiyan physique, who would be willing to be shot. Whoosh. Slap. Before Jess could point his gun at Ling Yu again, the latter quickly picked up a rock and threw it at Jess' hand, and the gun in his hand fell in response. Then Ling Yu had no hesitation, and rushed forward with a stride. Jess only saw a black shadow passing before his eyes, and then lost consciousness. Ma my beer, almost overturned the car, you still have to be careful in the future. No wonder the combat power detection function just detected that his combat power is relatively high, and it turned out that the weapons on his body were included in the calculation, and the display was more detailed. Afterwards, Ling Yu didn't linger too much in the alley, and left after searching the four people's money. I didn't go to punish, rob, evil, rich, promote, help, help, port tonight. After all, I told Zhang Yunning to go back early, otherwise I might be scolded. What's more, the hooded jacket he bought just now was stained with a lot of stains from the embarrassing role just now, which made Ling Yu feel distressed. Ling Yu returned home quickly, greeted Zhang Yunning, washed and dried the dirty coat, and went back to the room to count the harvest tonight. The four gangsters, only the black leader had more than $100, but the other three had a lot of banknotes, and the total amount of banknotes on the four of them was just over $400. He he he, sure enough, it's better to get money from robbery. Bah, bah, it's obviously to punish evil and promote good. Yes, punish evil and promote good. Ling Yu finished counting the banknotes in his hand, feeling very happy. Once you have money, you can find time to shirk the wages given by the restaurant. After all, as a Saiyan now, Ling Yu's appetite can be described as terrifying. But fortunately, I have a strong body and usually act like a lot of strength, otherwise it would be difficult to fool me. It is inappropriate for Ling Yu to eat so much from others every day and ask them for wages. So I went to rob with peace of mind. Have you heard? Recently, there was a man wearing a monkey king mask who was fighting criminals everywhere in Hell's Kitchen. Definitely. I saw him in the newspaper yesterday. It is said that since he appeared, the crime rate in those streets has dropped a lot. I heard a person who was saved by him say that he seems to know Kung Fu. It's the mysterious Chinese Kung Fu. Wow, that's cool. Quote dot 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 quote. Today, it's been a week since Ling Yu's first robbery, no, first justice. During this week, Ling Yu's combat power gradually increased to 89 points. But I don't know why, just exercising now doesn't seem to improve the combat effectiveness much. In the first few days of exercising, I could improve by 5 or 6 points every day, but now it is not bad to increase by 2 points a day. What makes Ling Yu even more uncomfortable is that although the combat power has improved, the control over the combat power has not improved much. No matter how Ling Yu trains and fights, he can still only display a combat power of about 50 at most, but it is enough to deal with those hooligans who only have pistols at most. However, it is worth mentioning that yesterday Ling Yu was pleasantly surprised to find that he could catch bullets empty-handed. Although it was still a bit painful, at least it gave Ling Yu a new understanding of his life-saving means. Hey buddy, get us two beers. The shouts of the guests at the table who were talking and laughing just now brought Ling Yu back to his senses. Okay, now. But Sky took the lead in fulfilling the needs of the guests at that table, then walked up to Ling Yu and hammered his arm rolled his eyes angrily and said, why are you in a daze? Why don't you work hard? Okay. Seeing this, Ling Yu shook his head, feeling helpless. Ah, the hero has to bend his waist for five buckets of rice. Dot dot dot. Quote dot dot dot. So, even with a dozen guns, our people can't deal with a guy wearing a monkey mask who can only shake fists. 
In the center of Hell's Kitchen, there is a very tall building around it. The Fix Building is located here. At this moment, in a luxuriously decorated office on the top floor of the building, a huge amount of figure was sitting on an office chair, facing huge amounts of floor to ceiling windows, looking at the scenery outside the window, with his back turned to his subordinates who bowed their heads in front of the desk with a look of panic. Old boss, this was just an accident. We're already making plans, that monkey won't be around for long. The man standing in front of the desk with his head down is called Wally, and he is the little leader in charge of managing the area where Ling Yu is. But no matter how decent he is usually, how he can call the wind and rain in front of the younger brothers, he still can't help trembling when facing this mafia king who can't lift his head just from his back. Well, this is your last chance. If he hasn't disappeared after a week, there will always be someone who will disappear. Wally was ecstatic when he heard the previous sentence, but after hearing it, he was only panicked, and quickly replied, Yes, yes, I will definitely not let you down. You can go now. Wally was relieved, and after answering again, he quickly left the suffocating office. After Wally left, the figure facing the floor to ceiling windows turned the chair with a gloomy face, revealing a smooth and round white marinated egg with fierce eyes. It was the underworld king of New York City, known for his ruthless and cold-blooded rule of the underground world Jin Bin, whose real name was Wilson Faith. Although he looks like an extremely fat man, in fact, more than 90% of his body is made of muscles, his strength is amazing, and he is also a top fighter in the world. Lester, has that daredevil been doing anything lately? Following Jin Bing's question, a man with a small knife in his hand came out slowly from the shadows in the corner. Not yet, the guy is still slick, but it's been over a week since the last time he got shot in the belly and thigh by my flying darts. This person is Jin Bin's right-hand man, Bullseye, Lester Jangos. Bullseye has a natural throwing ability, which allows him to throw any object in his hand towards the target with incredible precision. To slit a man's throat with a playing card, and to kill a man with a toothpick through a window a hundred yards away, were basic operations for him. Hearing Bullseye's words, Jin didn't say much. After all, since Daredevil appeared a few months ago, he hasn't caused him any trouble at all. It's been good news since it's been so long. In this case, Jin Bin crossed his hands on the table, and after thinking for a while, he said to Bullseye, Lester, don't worry about Daredevil for now, just look at that idiot just now, give me that mask first. Monkey solved it. Bullseye curled his lips in disdain when he heard the words, Tisk, do you still need me to take action for such a small role? Jin Bin shook his head, and said firmly, one daredevil is enough for me to have a headache, if there is another one, it won't bother me to death. Get rid of him as soon as possible. Okay, then, wait for my good news. Bullseye stopped playing with the knife in his hand, and left the office after saying a word confidently. Only Jin Bing was left with his chin propped up, not knowing what he was thinking about. Shield should now be called the headquarters of the Strategic Homeland Defense Offensive and Logistic Support Agency, in the Trident Building. Phil Coulson, have you found out about the six unknown energies that appeared in the Clinton area nine days ago? A smooth and round black marinated egg they are all marinated eggs, why is the gap so big, facing huge amounts of floor to ceiling windows, looking at the brightly lit city outside the window with his hands behind his back, he asked his subordinates behind him. Big bosses seem to like to serve cups like this. Holding a stack of reports in his hand, Phil Coulson shook his head slightly, and said, not yet, the six unknown energies appeared and disappeared quickly at that time, and our detection satellites could not find them after they discovered them. Traces, until now. The black marinated egg turned around slowly, revealing a gloomy blackened face with an eye patch on its left eye. Dot air, although it was originally a black face. Nick Fury seemed to have expected this news long ago, his expression didn't change at all, he walked to the desk with his hands behind his back and sat down and said in a tone of, everything is under control, I see. Since this is the case, you are still responsible for the task of continuing to investigate those unknown energies. As for the, head snakes, in the Clinton district, try not to provoke them if you can. Such trivial matters of social class are not in our business. Good sir. Phil Coulson accepted Nick Fury's order with a slight nod, and then continued to report, 
Speaking of the Clinton area, there seems to be another, righteous partner, after, Daredevil, recently. After our investigation, we found that he is a Chinese, and now he is working in a restaurant called, Sister Zhang's restaurant, and he is still a black household with no official status. This person has not displayed any strange abilities at present, but has shown much higher physical fitness and strength than ordinary people, and seems to know a little Chinese kung fu, but the suspicion that he is a mutant cannot be ruled out. Quote. After Nick Fury finished listening, an inexplicable gleam flashed in his eyes again, he nodded, and said, Continue to observe and observe, if you have the opportunity, you can contact it appropriately, if you are just a stronger ordinary person who knows a little bit of three-legged cat kung fu, you don't need to leave him alone. If there is any real ability, it is not impossible to put him in the list, too. Okay, then I'll get to work first. Naturally, Phil Coulson couldn't hear the last words Nick Fury was thinking. After nodding his head to express his understanding, he put the report in his hand on the desk and left. At this moment, Ling Yu has not realized that he has been taken into consideration by the two forces, but he did not expect his identity to be hidden from the all-knowing shield. After a busy day, Master Ling returned to his room and took out a desk drawer file-size suitcase from the corner of the debris pile. After opening it, the hundreds of thousands of dollars lying in the suitcase gave off the unique smell of banknotes. These are all Ling Yu's gains from punishing evil and promoting good, in the past week, and tens of thousands of them were obtained from some incidents such as minor robberies. The most rewarding time was when he happened to encounter a drug deal, that is, the battle in which he accidentally caught a bullet yesterday. A deal, two parties, at least a dozen guns, if Ling Yu hadn't reacted fast enough. The clothes on his body must have been shot into a hornet's nest. After the battle, seeing the 100,000 US dollars in the suitcase, Ling Yu resolutely took the money into his pocket, adhering to the principle of, the black eats the black and does not suffer. Definitely, I haven't forgotten to set fire to the drugs they traded. But the only problem right now is that Ling Yu has no legitimate reason to explain where the money came from. A few days ago, I already mentioned to Zhang Yuning that I have a big appetite and I am embarrassed to get paid anymore. Zhang Yuning has also seen Ling Yu's terrifying appetite in the past few days, so she agreed without too much hesitation, but she still said to Ling Yu, if you need money, come to her. Naturally, Ling Yu did not refuse. Therefore, Ling Yu is still penniless in the eyes of the other three people in the restaurant, but it is not a big problem to buy something without telling them. Hey, now I don't even have an ID card, and I can't even apply for a bank card. What can I do with so much money? Ling Versailles you never thought that one day he would worry about having too much money. Well, let's sleep well tonight and take a night off. Ling Yu shook his head and stopped thinking about it so much, stretched his body and decided to go to bed. Dot dot dot. Early the next morning, Ling Yu ran 10 kilometers to Curry, an abandoned warehouse in the eastern outskirts of Hell's Kitchen. The previous rooftop on the fourth floor could no longer be used, because Ling Yu was exercising a bit too loudly, and the residents downstairs were swearing loudly through the windows and yelling to find property management. So Ling Yu could only find this place, but it was indeed much better than that small rooftop. This warehouse has been abandoned for several years. It is located in a remote suburb and almost no one comes. The warehouse curry was also decorated by Ling Yu. There were a few boxing dummies and Wing Chun wooden dolls beside the wall which could be used for Ling Yu to practice a little Wing Chun and free fighting skills that are helpful to combat. For Ling Yu who doesn't know how to cultivate Qi, this is also the most effective method. Teacher Saitama's exercise method was strengthened by Ling Yu on the third day of the exercise, because there were only 100 exercises. After getting used to it, after a series of exercises were completed, Ling Yu didn't even break a drop of sweat. Ling Yu also didn't expect to be able to break the human body limiter, like Saitama Sensei. Besides, it's not certain whether there is such a setting in the Marvel world. As a result, it gradually increased from 100 times to the current 5,000 times. However, after finishing all the exercises today, Ling Yu found that he still hadn't broken through the level of 90 points of combat power. It seems that high intensity battles are still needed to improve yourself. As the Saiyans of the fighting nation, 
pure self-training is naturally not the most suitable way to improve their combat effectiveness. High-intensity battles can clearly demonstrate the advantages of the Saiyans. In particular, the bug-like, becoming stronger after dying, has already been written in Ling Yu's plan. But the expected high-intensity battle is not what you want, at least until now Ling Yu has not fought with all his strength. Dot dot dot. It was close to noon, and several guests came to the restaurant early, Ling Yu was ordering food for their table, and Sky put drinks in the refrigerator. Ah, welcome to the police officers, please find a place to sit. Sky's voice suddenly came from the front desk. Ling Yu turned around and saw five white policemen in police uniforms coming and looking at the restaurant. Sky was a little confused. There was no police station nearby. Even if there were police officers patrolling the area, they had never been to a restaurant for dinner. This was the first time a police officer visited. The policeman in charge took off his hat and threw it on the nearest table. He sat down and asked, Excuse me, is Miss Zhang here? When he asked this sentence, Ling Yu who was not far away felt something was wrong. Sure enough, the other four policemen raised their batons at the guests at the table, apparently to drive them away. The guests at this table were not ignorant of current affairs, and quickly left the restaurant without saying a word. Sister Zhang, someone is looking for you. Sky felt a little strange when he heard the words, and without thinking too much, he turned his head and shouted into the kitchen. Ling Yu also put down the notepad and pen in his hand, and walked over to Sky. Zhang Yunning, who was staying in the kitchen, heard Sky's call and came out quickly. Here it is, who is it? However, just a few steps out of the door, he saw the face of the person sitting on the chair clearly, and stopped in the middle of speaking. The policeman sitting on the chair also saw Zhang Yunning, stood up happily, spread his hands, and said, Oh, my dear Zhang, I'm so glad to see you again. The expression on Zhang Yuning's face showed boredom that anyone with a discerning eye could see, and said very coldly, but seeing you, I'm not happy at all. Officer Xiao Zan. Really? Hearing this, Ling Yu also confirmed his conjecture just now. If this is the case, then there may be a little trouble in the future. Hey, you are so ruthless, do you know how much effort I have spent trying to find you? And Xiao Zan had a disappointed expression on his face when he heard this, and then looked at Sky and Ling Yu next to him. To be precise, most of his eyes were on Sky. Oh, is this the new employee in your restaurant? It looks really beautiful. Ah, I mean, it's still a little worse than you. Although Xiao Zan sounded like a dog when he spoke, he couldn't hide the teasing and possessiveness in his eyes at all. Ling Yu calmly took a step to the left, blocking Sky behind him. Seeing this, Xiao Zan pursed his lips, shrugged his shoulders and pretended not to care, and said with a smile, Hmm, it seems that you have hired an employee who likes to show off. Enough Xiao Zan, you are not welcome in my restaurant, please leave. After hearing this, Xiao Zan was not angry, but shook his head instead, and said, Don't worry my dear, we have plenty of time. You know, for you, I have applied to be transferred to this ghostly place to work. The disgust in Zhang Yuning's eyes grew even more upon hearing the words, she gritted her teeth and said, you are hopeless. Quote dot dot dot. Zhang, you have to thank me, but don't forget who was protecting your restaurant when you were in Chinatown. Hearing Xiao Zan's words, Zhang Jinrui, who was obediently sitting behind the counter and watching quietly, couldn't bear it anymore. Hearing Xiao Zan's words, Zhang Jinrui, who was obediently sitting behind the counter and watching quietly, couldn't bear it anymore, and shouted, Nonsense, you ordered those villains to come. Hey, didn't Zhang teach you, when adults are talking, children should not interrupt. Xiao Zan was obviously displeased with Zhang Jinrui's exposure, and warned him with vicious eyes. But Zhang Jinrui didn't dodge, and counterattacked with his eyes without any timidity, which made Xiao Zan even more upset. Zhang Yuning is a calf-protecting person, seeing Xiao Zan threatening her son in such a way, Naturally she wouldn't give him a good face, although she never did. Enough. Xiao Zan, please leave my restaurant immediately, you are not welcome here. Immediately. Seeing that Zhang Yuning was a little angry, Xiao Zan immediately said to her with a playful smile, Don't be angry, Zhang, you know that I have always admired you, and I also know that your family is not happy. I think I can be a good husband, definitely, and good father. No way. Just give up your heart. Even if I die alone, 
I won't be with someone like you. When I see you, I feel sick. Zhang Yuning's dislike for Xiao Zan has reached the threshold, and before he finished speaking, he roared hysterically. Xiao Zan has never been a patient person. Hearing what Zhang Yuning said, he couldn't help it anymore, but he couldn't help it at all. He took a deep breath, forcibly suppressed the anger in his heart, took a few steps forward, and said calmly, then if this is the case, this restaurant may be closed in a few days due to hygiene problems. Hearing Xiao Zan's threatening words, Zhang Yuning finally couldn't bear it any longer, and pushed with all his strength, causing Xiao Zan to collapse in embarrassment, almost falling to the ground, but unfortunately, he was supported by his subordinates behind him. Fuck, shameless. After reacting, Xiao Zan became furious, he broke away from his subordinate's hands, and raised his right hand to slap Zhang Yuning on the face. Clatter. But Ling Yu, who was standing next to Zhang Yuning, naturally wouldn't let this kind of thing happen, and everyone present couldn't see clearly how he grabbed Xiao Zan's wrist. Violence is not what a good husband should be. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Hey, put it down. What are you doing? Hands up. The four policemen also reacted, and quickly pulled out their guns, pointed at Ling Yu and shouted. Ling Yu glanced at them and said calmly, dot you can let them try. Stop it all. Stop it. Looking at Ling Yu's indifferent eyes, and the pain from his wrist as if being pinched by pliers, Xiao Zan somehow felt that if he dared to move again, it would not only be the grasped hand, but also his own body. My little life is also at stake. But after being a policeman for so many years, Xiao Zan's mental quality is naturally not too low. Although he didn't dare to move, he still asked viciously, who the hell are you? It's just a small employee of this restaurant. You remember it for me. Dog head. Quote dot 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 quote. After Ling Yu finished speaking, the atmosphere seemed to freeze. After nearly a minute, it was Xiao Zan's walkie-talkie that broke the deadlock. Xiao Zan, Xiao Zan, can you hear me? There was a fight on 9th Street in the Clinton District, please hurry there. Quote dot 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 quote. Quote dot dot dot. Okay, officers, it looks like you have to go to work, take your time. Seeing this, Ling Yu stopped holding Xiao Zan's hand and showed a polite smile, as if nothing happened just now. Very good, I remember you. Xiao Zan rubbed his aching wrist, and stared at Ling Yu viciously, as if he wanted to kill him with his eyes. After saying a word, he greeted the subordinates behind him and left. Ling Yu didn't take it seriously, smiled lightly, waved his hand, and watched Xiao Zan and his party get into the car and leave. Snapped. A slap hit the back of Ling Yu's head, interrupting his glass filling. Brat, do you know what you were doing just now? How dangerous. Recalling the scene of four guns being pointed at Ling Yu just now, Zhang Yuning felt scared for a while. Ling Yu covered the back of his head, turned around and said with a sneer, he he, isn't it all right? And that guy just wanted to hit you. I can't just sit and watch. Ling Yu also knew that Zhang Yuning was actually worried about herself, so she didn't dodge it. She taught her a lesson and let her vent the anger she just received. Quote dot dot dot. It's also because I'm too impulsive, I deserve it. Zhang Yuning also realized that she was really too impulsive just now, and said with some regret. Sky also glared at Ling Yu, put his arms around Zhang Yuning's shoulders and comforted him, no, that guy deserves it. He can tell he's not a good person just by looking at him. Oh, Ling Yu, thank you. I'm also a member of the restaurant, that's how it should be. Ling Yu shook his hand, then changed the subject, and asked, but. Sister Zhang, who is that guy just now? It seems that he has been pestering you for a long time, right? He's a big bad guy, wearing a police suit and doing no good. He bullied us all the time in Chinatown. Zhang Jinrui on the side said to Ling Yu very angrily, and there seemed to be a trace of admiration in Ling Yu's eyes. Zhang Yuning did not refute Zhang Jinrui's words, sighed, sat down on the chair, and slowly explained the situation to Ling Yu and Sky. Quote dot 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 quote. It's too much. He's obviously greedy for you. And he forced you to move here from such a good place in Chinatown. After hearing about the cause of the incident, Sky was very angry, and the towel in his hand had been twisted into twists, as if the towel was Xiao Zan himself. Didn't you find someone else to take care of it? Hearing Sky's indignant question, 
Zhang Yuning shook her head numbly, and said, It's useless, he has connections in the New York City Bureau, and most people can't control him. This is why he dared to be so arrogant. If he wasn't afraid of hurting him his career has an impact, I think he has long been overlord. This is ridiculous. Sky felt very speechless upon hearing this. At this time, Ling Yu also said, It's okay, Sister Zhang, isn't I still here? Come on, you just have more strength, they have guns. Zhang Yuning was obviously worried and said helplessly. But Zhang Jinrui, who was silent at the side, had bright eyes and asked expectantly, Ling Yu big brother, do you know Kung Fu? EMM, that's right, I know a little bit. Hearing Ling Yu's answer, Zhang Jinrui was very excited, but Sky was a little skeptical. Are you kidding? You know Kung Fu. How fresh. Otherwise, why would I go out early every morning? Hearing Sky's tone full of disbelief, Ling Yu couldn't lose face. I know it. Can you teach me? If I learn Kung Fu, then I can protect myself and my mother in the future. Zhang Jinrui begged Ling Yu. But before Ling Yu could respond, Zhang Yuning spoke first. Did you really think Bruce Lee would be someone with a little Kung Fu? Don't dream, the guns in their hands are not a joke. Both of you calm down. After a lesson, Zhang Yuning took a few deep breaths and said, Dot the restaurant is closed today, you two can take a day off. Sister Zhang. Okay, I'm a little tired, hurry up and pack up and close the door. Zhang Yuning walked into the kitchen as she said that, and when her back was turned to the three of them, she raised her hand and wiped the corners of her eyes. Is Miss Zhang really all right? Well, what else can I do? She kicked us out. Hearing Sky's question, Ling Yu shrugged, expressing that he didn't know either. Hey, you're so heartless. Sky hammered Ling Yu angrily and walked forward faster. After the two left the restaurant, they had nowhere to go, so they planned to go shopping together. This is also Ling Yu's first holiday since he worked in a restaurant, so naturally he followed Sky out to play with a stern face. And Sky has rarely had a holiday this month. After all, restaurants don't have many free days. Even if I have free time, I just stay in my small apartment, surf the internet and type codes in front of the computer. So the two took a taxi to Central Park. After buying two ice creams in a street car, they sat on a park bench looking at the lake and chatted. Ling Yu, do you really know Kung Fu? Ling Yu raised his eyebrows when he heard the words, and asked back, don't you believe it? I see that you eat as much as a pig every day. But you don't seem to be gaining weight. Sister Zhang also said that you do go out to exercise every morning, so do you really know Kung Fu? Sky wrinkled her nose cutely, exaggerated, and asked again. Maybe. Aren't you kidding me? Maybe. Then do you know, Wukong man? Maybe. Cough cough cough. What kind of hero? Ling Yu originally answered Sky's question perfunctorily, but was surprised when he heard the last question. Wukong Sha, that is the person who appeared recently wearing a Monkey King mask and doing justice everywhere. Everyone calls him, Wukong Sha. What kind of soil turtle's name is this? Who started it? Hearing Sky's words, Ling Yu was very surprised, everyone calls it that. How come I don't know when it happened? Sky rolled his eyes angrily, took out the mobile phone in his pocket, opened a web page, and said, it's no wonder you know, you don't even have a mobile phone. Last night, the name, Wukong Xia, was posted on the internet, and everyone voted for it. Quote. Ling Yu took Sky's mobile phone and looked at it. Almost all the posts on the website were about Wukongman. One of the top ones is about Ling Yu's hero name. Mask Man, Monkey Man, Great Sage Man, and what the hell is King Kong Man? Let's play tricks. Ling Yu looked at all the ridiculous hero names on the post, only to realize that the name, Wukong Xia, is actually quite nice. How? Do you know him? Regardless of Ling Yu's yelling, Sky snatched the phone back from him and asked again. Ling Yu calmed down his uncomfortable mood, and asked again, why do you think I know him? Sky shrugged his shoulders and said definitely, because it is said that Wu Kongmin used Chinese Kung Fu when he did good deeds. You said you know Kung Fu, does that mean you two know each other? Ling Yu was taken aback by Sky's illogical logic, thought for a while, and asked, um, okay, if. I mean, if I really know him, what do you want him for? It's none of your business that I'm planning. If I tell you and you don't know me, then I'm at a disadvantage. 
HMPH. Just when Sky was about to reveal his purpose, his face suddenly flushed, and after saying something to Ling Yu, he turned his attention to dealing with the ice cream in his hand, as if he regarded it as a hateful Ling Yu. For Sky's unreasonable tantrum, Ling Yu couldn't laugh or cry, so he leaned into Sky's ear and whispered, Actually, I am what you call, Wukongman. Circle dot operator oh circle dot operator. Seeing Sky suddenly raised his head with a surprised expression on his face, Ling Yu was very helpful, but what Sky said next poured cold water on his head. You are really shameless. Underscore. Sky looked at Ling Yu with disgust. Senmo Turtle. Seeing this, Ling Yu was very helpless, spread his hands, and said speechlessly, Look, you won't believe me when I tell you. HMPH. What evidence do you have? Masks. Kung Fu. I haven't seen any of them. Sky seemed a little angry, and questioned Ling Yu politely. I. Ling Yu suddenly found that the conversation between the two was too much like a conversation between children, it was too childish. He covered his forehead and sighed, then raised his hands in surrender and said, Okay, okay, I'm joking, just pretend I didn't say it. TCH, your lying technique is really bad. Sky was very proud of his victory. After eating the last bite of ice cream, he got up and said to Ling Yu, Let's go, sister treats you to dinner. Okay. Ling Yu also ate the ice cream in her hand in one gulp, and when she heard Sky's sister, she immediately felt helpless. God is sorry, Ling Yu's body is only 19 years old now, and Sky just had his 20th birthday last month. After learning of the age difference between the two, Sky was complacent for a while. Such a tall and burly boy is his younger brother, so I am so happy. At night, a few disheveled policemen came out of a well-lit bar with each other supporting each other, cursing and swearing. Don't eat the sour radish. Sooner or later, I will press that under my crotch and call him daddy. That's definitely. No woman has ever escaped Boss Xiao Zan's grasp. HMPH. And that dead yellow-skinned monkey in the restaurant. In two days, you will find someone to teach that guy a lesson, and I will interrupt all his hands and feet. Fake. How dare you provoke me? Da, da, da. Suddenly, there was a clear sound of footsteps on the silent street. Everyone followed the sound and looked back, only to see a man wearing a monkey king mask and a black hooded coat with his hands in his pockets, walking slowly towards this side. What the hell is that? A slightly more sober subordinate took a closer look and said, Boss Xiao Zan, that seems to be Wukong Sha who has made a lot of noise recently. Huh. Wukong man, Xiao Zan was already very disgusted with this kind of hero, who pretended to be a ghost and dared not show his true colors, and he was in a very unhappy mood today. So he shook off the support of his subordinates, pointed at Wukong man who was only a few steps away in front of him, and shouted, that sneaky guy in front, we are the police. Now I order you to quickly remove your broken mask. Take it off, take out your ID card. Under the mask, Ling Yu's eyes were very indifferent, and he stood motionless in front of Xiao Zan, as if he didn't hear him. Hey, are you deaf or blind? I really don't know if you don't obey the police investigation, I can shoot you right away. Quote dot 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 quote. Don't eat sour radishes. Xiao Zan met the Wukong man in front of him, ignoring him again and again, and angrily pulled out his pistol to point it at him. But Ling Yu didn't intend to give him this chance, stepped on his right foot, and his figure flew out like lightning. When Xiao Zan had just put on the insurance, Ling Yu's fist had already hit him in the face. What the hell? I even buy karma. Madfak. Shet. Raise your hands. But Ling Yu showed no mercy to these raccoon dogs. This kind of policeman who does nothing but do nothing, even with a gun, has only six or seven points of combat effectiveness. Ling Yu punched and kicked them all to the ground one by one. Xiao Zan, who just woke up a little from the dizziness, was lying on the ground, covering his cheeks that were already swollen like a pig's head. He looked around at his subordinates who were lying on the ground crying like him, and said viciously to Ling Yu, You it's over. No matter who you are, you will die a terrible death. HMPH, it seems that the attack is still a little lighter. Ling Yu's eyes froze, he clenched his fists and walked slowly towards Xiao Zan. You, what do you want to do? Don't come here. The police will want you. You are dead. Noisy. Boom. 
Ling Yu frowned, gritted his teeth, and punched Xiao Zan in the abdomen. After he curled up in pain, he aligned his position and stepped on it. Crack. Ah. With a tragic scream echoing in the night sky, there has been another eunuch in this world since then. According to the descriptions of the five police officers who were attacked five days ago in the surveillance video, it is now certain that the criminal who attacked the police is, Wu Kongman. At present, the police have issued a wanted warrant. If any citizen finds traces of, Wu Kongman, please call the police immediately. How is this possible? Isn't Wu Kong a hero who fights criminals? How could he attack the police? HMPH, I already knew that such a grimacing guy would never do anything good. Five days later at noon, the news broadcast on the TV in the restaurant aroused intense discussions among the crowd, some were in disbelief and some gloated. Sister Zhang, those police officers who were attacked seemed to be Xiao Zan and the others. Watching the news on TV and the news on the mobile phone, Sky said to Zhang Yuning who was called out from the kitchen to watch the news with some surprise. Ah, I saw, there seemed to be a smile on Zhang Yuning's face. For some reason, she subconsciously glanced at Ling Yu, then stopped staying outside, and turned back to the kitchen to continue cooking. But Zhang Jinrui was very excited, with a smile on his face, and said, Great. My mother always said that, good is rewarded with good, and evil is rewarded with evil, and, Wukong man, must have discovered the bad things done by those bad policemen. But how can they catch him? They don't make sense at all. Speaking of the latter, I began to complain about what happened to, Wukong man. Sky turned his head to look at Ling Yu, who had a calm face, as if he had expected it long ago. Thinking of his, lying words, at that time, he couldn't help but feel a little shaken in his heart. Dot dot dot. The time for lunch passed quickly, and just when Sky was going to ask Ling Yu something in his spare time, he found a figure at the door of the restaurant. Sorry sir, the restaurant is closed at this time. Ling Yu, who was wiping the table, turned around when he heard the movement, and then felt a chill in his heart. Ma Dan, why did you come to the door so quickly? I saw a man whose hair was combed meticulously even though his hairline was more than half the top of his head. He was wearing a black and blue suit without a single wrinkle, a pair of sunglasses on his face, and a very kind smile on his mouth. A middle-aged man is standing at the door. If Ling Yu hadn't been a time traveler, he might have thought that he was just a gentle and kind uncle next door. And this, uncle next door, slowly took off his sunglasses, still with a kind smile on his mouth, and said softly, Hello miss, I'm not here to eat, but to find someone. Ling Yu also knew that he couldn't avoid it, but he still walked up to Sky, pretending not to know, and asked, Excuse me, are you looking for Sister Zhang? She's in the kitchen. No. Mr. Ling, I'm here to find you. Ling Yu ignored Sky's surprised gaze and the hands that secretly tugged at the hem of his clothes, heaved a sigh of relief, and said, Okay, what's your business? If it's convenient, can you sit down with me in a coffee shop and have a good chat? The uncle next door didn't answer, but instead extended an invitation to Ling Yu. Quote dot dot dot. Okay. Sky, I'll go out first, please tell Sister Zhang for me. Ling Yu hesitated for a while, then put down the rag in his hand, took off his apron, and left with the uncle next door, after speaking. However, before the uncle next door left, he seemed to have given Sky a meaningful look, but he quickly looked away. What? Sky was at a loss when he saw this, suddenly a strange middle-aged man took his companion away, what kind of situation is this? Could it be that? Ling Yu didn't lie to me. Ling Yu followed the uncle next door into the car, and the two of them had nothing to say all the way, and arrived at a remote cafe more than 10 minutes later. And this cafe is very, coincidentally, only two people patronize. Would you like something to drink? A cappuccino. Two minutes after Ling Yu answered, two cups of coffee were served, and the waiter was ordered to leave by the uncle next door. Afterwards, he took out a piece of ID from the inner pocket of his suit showed it to Ling Yu, then stretched out his hand and said with a smile, let me introduce myself first, Phil Coulson, FBI agent. He, he returned to FBI. A small sample, with all the bells and whistles. Ling Yu sneered inwardly, reached out his hand to shake Phil Coulson politely, and said, Ling Yu, but I don't think I need to introduce myself too much, you should have made a thorough investigation. 
Please forgive me, Mr. Ling, after all, this is a necessary procedure. Maybe, I can still call you. Wu Kongxia. Phil Coulson first apologized insincerely, and then stated the purpose of coming today. Ling Yu's mentality has been calmed down. After all, what is supposed to come will always come, and now that it has already come, there is no use in panic. Just now Ling Yu has tested Phil Coulson's combat power, and he has 32 points, which is not bad. After all, as a shield agent, it is about 5 times higher than the 5 or 6 points of ordinary people, which is already very powerful. Definitely, this is the combat power after counting the guns and weapons on his body. Since Phil Coulson, who is a high-level agent, is not outstanding in combat, even if he is surrounded by shield agent's eyeliner and defense line, it will not pose much threat to Ling Yu. Although Ling Yu's combat power is still at 89 points, he has been able to display a combat power of nearly 65 points. Even if a whole special service team comes, Ling Yu is confident that they will all be defeated, but there will naturally be troubles in the future. So, he shrugged his shoulders indifferently, took a sip of his coffee, and said, Oh, I thought I was hiding it well. Phil Coulson was a little surprised by Ling Yu's attitude, but he remained calm on the surface, staring straight at Ling Yu, and continued to ask, Mr. Ling, we have some questions about your assault on the police a few days ago. Please answer me. Ling Yu put down the cup in his hand, nodded, and said, let's hear it. Okay, according to the injury report we got, even the least injured one of the five policemen had five broken ribs and displaced internal organs. The doctor who examined the injuries believed that he was hit head-on in the chest by a truck traveling at over 70 yards per hour, but the footprints on his chest told us that was not the case. Excuse me, how did you do it? Quote. While Phil Coulson was talking, he also took out five injury inspection reports from the briefcase beside him, and placed them in front of Ling Yu one by one. Hearing this, Ling Yu spread his hands and said definitely, didn't you say that too? Use your feet. Mr. Ling Yu. Okay okay. Hearing Phil Coulson's raised volume, Ling Yu curled his lips and said, you all should know that, in fact, I do know a little Chinese kung fu, and my strength is much stronger than ordinary people can believe it or not with your fb's ability it shouldn't be difficult to look at a few surveillance videos right phil colson had nothing to say about this after all he had watched those surveillance videos no less than five times and it was indeed just like what ling yu said it seemed to be just some boxing but phil colson naturally wouldn't just be fooled like this after putting away the five reports on the table he asked ling yu another question Mr. Ling, do you know, Yiren, and, Mutant? Mr. Ling, do you know, Yiren, and, Mutant? Mutant, knows, as for, inhuman. I haven't heard of it. Ling Yu pretended to think for a while, and lied without changing his face. Very good. Phil Coulson nodded slightly when he heard the words, took a sip of his coffee, and said, it's hard for us to explain the specifics to you, anyway, inhuman, is similar to, Mutant, both are due to genetic mutations that awakened supernatural abilities. Human beings. These human beings do not have stable control over their abilities, and some people even rely on their super abilities to commit crimes. Therefore, if we find traces of inhuman or mutant, we must find him and assess the degree of danger of his ability. Then carry out appropriate supervision and control based on the results of the assessment and if serious, arrests will be made to ensure social stability and the safety of the people. Quote. Oh, I see. Ling Yu raised his brows, put his hands on his chest, and said with a sneer, do you think I'm a mutant or a foreigner? It's suspicion. Phil Coulson shook his head and corrected Ling Yu's wording. HMPH, then you suspect that you are wrong. Ling Yu crossed his hands on the table, leaned forward, squinted his eyes slightly, and said, my strength comes from my daily exercise, not from any genetic mutation. Definitely, there is also the gold finger of the traverser. Phil Coulson still had a gentle smile on his lips, nodded, and said, I understand your feelings, Mr. Ling. But if that's what you said, can you please cooperate with us in a blood draw? After all, there is no evidence, it is also difficult for us. My beer, luckily this cheating system has a protection mechanism, otherwise. 
Ling Yu couldn't help being happy when he heard the words, but on the surface he frowned slightly, showing a very displeased look, took a deep breath, and said impatiently, Are you cooperating with you after the blood draw? Won't you bother me again? Quote dot dot dot. It depends on the results of your blood test and whether you will abide by the law in the future. I don't think there will be any news about Wukong man attacking the police in the future, right? Phil Coulson stared at Ling Yu for a few seconds, speaking with a hint of humor. Cut. Ling Yu rolled up his sleeves and exposed his arms, urging, If you want to smoke, hurry up, I have to go back to the store to help. Phil Coulson naturally did not hesitate when he saw this, and simply took out a metal box from the briefcase beside him, obviously coming prepared. Then he opened the metal box, took out a pistol-shaped blood drawing device from it, put the gun muzzle against the vein of Ling Yu's forearm, and gently pulled the trigger with his fingers, a tube of scarlet blood was released in a few seconds, was collected in the test tube of the device. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Phil Coulson handed Ling Yu a piece of sterile cotton to press the bleeding needle, then put away Ling Yu's blood sample, picked up the briefcase, got up and said goodbye to Ling Yu. Excuse me, we will send someone to take you back, we have already taken care of the little troubles you encountered in the restaurant. After the blood test results come out, no matter whether the results are correct or not, we will bother you again, so please try not to leave New York City during this period. Quote. Wow, so I'm still not out of the dangerous category, you think? Hearing Ling Yu's complaint, Phil Coulson didn't respond, just stood quietly by the table and looked at him with a smile. Seeing this, Ling Yu was speechless, rolled his eyes angrily, stood up, and said, Okay, okay, this is also a necessary process, I understand. Thank you for your understanding, and have a nice trip. Ling Yu ignored Phil Coulson, threw the used cotton cloth into the trash can, and walked straight past him out of the cafe. Dot dot dot. Followed the plainclothes agent outside who had already received the order into the car, and soon returned to the restaurant. Sky didn't come to work until close to dinner time as usual, and it seems that he hasn't left since Ling Yu and Phil Coulson went out. Zhang Yuning followed Sky and waited in the restaurant, seeing Ling Yu came back, both of them got up quickly. Ling Yu, what happened? Why didn't you tell me? Is that person a policeman? Um, didn't I ask Sky to tell you? Don't change the subject. Hearing Zhang Yuning's worried and sullen words, Ling Yu could only babble, He's an agent of the FBI, here to investigate the attack on those guys like Xiao Zan. What? Because they found out that Xiao Zan and the others had clashed with me in our restaurant, and then they had an accident that night, so they came to ask me what happened. But. Dot why only ask you? Ah, he said that because I'm the only suspect in this restaurant, so, in short, it's all right now, and they have asked clearly. Facing the pressing questions of the two, Ling Yu spoke nonsense, one head and two older. Really? Sky looked at Ling Yu suspiciously again, the latter shrugged his shoulders, spread his hands, and said speechlessly, otherwise, why would they just let me back like this? Stinky boy, you must tell me next time you encounter such a thing. Remember. Zhang Yuning was also relieved after listening, but she still taught Ling Yu a lesson. Ling Yu also heard the concern in Zhang Yuning's words, smiled and nodded in agreement. Seeing this, Zhang Yuning's attitude softened a bit, she turned and walked towards the kitchen, and said, Don't be dazed, come in and help, we are closed tonight, let's have a big meal and celebrate. Wu, did I miss something good? Ling Yu was a little confused when he heard the words, and asked Sky who was beside him. Sky also looked very happy, tilted his head, and said, Ten minutes ago, the New York Police Department headquarters issued a punishment announcement for Xiao Zan and others, the content of which was, collude with gangsters, cover up drug trade and human trafficking, and even the current deputy director of the New York City Bureau has been pulled down. At least 20 years in prison. However, what is uncomfortable is that the police's arrest warrant for, Wukongman, has not been withdrawn. No wonder Miss Zhang stopped asking so easily, it turns out that what Phil Coulson said just now is this. But in the end, Sky changed into a look that seemed to want to see clearly what color underwear Ling Yu was wearing today, which made Ling Yu feel unnatural. Ahem, then you should really celebrate. Ling Yu naturally knew what Sky's eyes meant, cleared his throat, pretended to be very arrogant and didn't say much, directly passed Sky, walked into the kitchen to help. 
HMPH. Brat. Seeing this, Sky was very annoyed, and with a puffed face, he waved his powder fist in the air at Ling Yu's back, and then followed into the kitchen. After eating a large table full of rich and plentiful meals that Zhang Yuning spent two hours cooking, Ling Yu and Sky naturally took over the task of washing the dishes after the meal. Taking advantage of the fact that he and Ling Yu were the only ones left in the kitchen, Sky couldn't hold back anymore, touched each other's shoulders with Ling Yu, and asked, Hey, what did that weird uncle ask you for today? I thought I made it clear when I came back. Ling Yu raised her eyebrows when she heard the words, and said while holding back a smile. Come on, only ghosts will believe what you say. Sky frowned, sneered at Ling Yu's words, and after a few seconds of silence, asked again. So, you are really, Wukong man. Pissed. Ling Yu burst out laughing, causing Sky's dissatisfaction, and turned up the volume, Ling Yu. What's so funny? Ahem, I'm sorry, I thought of something happy. What? EMM, someone said, only ghosts would believe what I said. Hey, you. Sky blushed when he heard the words, and became angry from embarrassment. He stepped on Ling Yu's foot angrily, then lowered his head with a puffy face and concentrated on washing the dishes, ignoring Ling Yu. Seeing Sky's tantrum, Ling Yu resisted the urge to pinch her face, shook his head, and continued to work. Dot dot dot. Sky didn't say a word to Ling Yu until he got home from get off work. If he didn't find her sneaking glances at Ling Yu from time to time, Ling Yu would have thought she was really angry. So the three people living in the restaurant went back to the second floor to rest, but Ling Yu's work has just begun. However, just as Ling Yu put on a black hooded coat, stuffed the Monkey King mask in his arms, and was about to go out, there was a knock on the door. Ling Yu, are you asleep? Sister Zhang. Zhang Yuning's voice made Ling Yu feel a little puzzled, and it stands to reason that she went to bed early at this point. Not yet. Ling Yu took the mask out of his arms and hid it under the pillow, then quickly took off his coat and put it away, stepped forward and opened the door. What's the matter, Miss Zhang, are you still up so late? Zhang Yuning turned her head and glanced at the door of Zhang Jinrui's room, and said in a low voice, Go in first, I have something to ask you. Ah, uh, good. Ling Yu was a little puzzled, but still stepped aside and let Zhang Yuning walk into the small room, then half closed the door, looked at Zhang Yuning and waited for her question. Zhang Yuning didn't talk too much nonsense, she crossed her arms, stared at Ling Yu and asked, Ling Yu, are you the Wukong man? Ling Yu was a little surprised when he heard the words, but seeing that Zhang Yuning was so determined, he also knew that he couldn't hide it, so he said with a sneer, Hey, how did you know about one, Miss Zhang? HMPH. I'm not blind. The coat on the balcony is exactly the same as the one worn by Wukong Man on the internet, and I knocked on the door many times at night and you were not there. Who would guess that? I actually forgot about this. After listening to Zhang Yuning's explanation, Ling Yu was a little embarrassed. Eh hey, hee, Sister Zhang is really amazing. Stop talking. Looking at Ling Yu's playful smile, Zhang Yuning said angrily, Do you know what you're doing? Do you know how dangerous this kind of thing is? Do you want to be a hero? You don't want to die. Quote. Hey, it hurts, it hurts, Sister Zhang, please forgive me. The excited Zhang Yuning grabbed Ling Yu's ears and begged for mercy. Although it doesn't hurt, it's still necessary to pretend. Humph. Only then did Zhang Yuning let go of Ling Yu, took a few deep breaths, calmed down her excitement, and asked again, Ling Yu, why are you doing this? Ah, this sudden question stopped Ling Yu immediately. For what? Ling Yu asked himself. Is it for money? Definitely not. Thinking of the hundreds of thousands of dollars in several suitcases hidden in the corner, Ling Yu's heart did not fluctuate. Is that for the insignificant sense of justice in my heart? Or are you already addicted to the feeling of dancing and punching under the fire of bullets? Maybe, both. Ling Yu, being a hero, is never an easy thing. While Ling Yu was meditating, Zhang Yuning seemed to recall the past, her eyes were slightly red, and after she finished speaking, she passed Ling Yu, opened the door and walked out. Be safe. Boom. Holding the doorknob with her hand, Zhang Yuning hesitated for a few seconds, and then said something before closing the door. And Ling Yu stood there in a daze for a while, then sat on the bed, took out the mask from under the pillow, and was fascinated. 
late at night, at a port terminal in Hell's Kitchen. Boss, will, Wukong man, really come? He will definitely come. This guy has been sabotaging our deal for the past few days, and I also sent someone to leak the news tonight. In this situation, he will definitely die. In a hidden corner of the pier, Wally's eyes became more sinister as he watched a group of seemingly normal people outside waiting for something. If today's plan fails again, then my life will be lost. No. Today's plan must be successful, 30 submachine guns and 5 grenade guns, I don't believe it. It's really not good. There is still, that person. Boss, they are here. The voice of the younger brother beside him brought Wally back to his senses. I saw another group of people appeared on the other side, a leader was firmly protected in the crowd, and he was carrying a huge suitcase in his hand, the size of a 24-inch suitcase, and the contents inside were one can imagine. Obviously, this is another huge drug deal. Quote dot 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 quote. Following the normal exchanges and inspections between these two groups of people, they were already approaching the link of paying first and delivering the goods, but nothing unexpected happened. Just when Wally was burning with anxiety, the accident he expected finally came. But this, accident, is very different from the, accident, he expected. I saw that the two people who were ready to hand over were suddenly hit in the face by a short stick connected with a steel cable, and lost consciousness instantly. The people around were shocked when they saw this, and saw a figure standing on the container along the direction of the short stick shrinking back. He was wearing a dark red tights, holding a long stick that had just been reassembled in his hand. The most peculiar thing was that his mask even covered his eyes, and did not reveal the area that could provide vision. The group of gangsters below are not newcomers, so they naturally recognized this outfit. Daredevil. Shet, why did he appear again? Hold head high. Did you meet a colleague? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.